morning guys starting off with my little morning supplement routine slash stack we got one scoop of the pump product by PE science high volume and then I'm gonna prep my intro workout which is gonna be uh, one up nutrition BCAs uh, candy watermelon flavor tastes just like a watermelon Jolly Rancher so bomb Quick little pro tip to make your BCAAs last a little bit longer is fill up your shaker cup all the way with ice. That's gonna help you guys just kind of take smaller sips and feel a lot more refreshed. I feel like when there's no ice in the shaker cup, you just go through that thing like it's nothing. So throw some ice in there even if it's cold outside, guys. I uh, highly recommend it and also makes the BCAAs taste a whole lot better. Let's go ahead and get ready for this workout. I'm not messing around with the cold weather this year. We got the Alpha Elite joggers on, which you guys will get a closer look. We got the Nike Metcon 5. We got a Rise tank top under this. Gymshark block hoodie here, and then just like a snowboarding jacket. We're not messing around with the cold this year, guys. Also, quick another little tip. Um, since I don't take pre-workout, it's kind of like a pre-workout cue, is to just pop in a piece of gum. I've been doing that for years. Kind of just lets me know it's go time. Give it a go, guys. Preferably stick to a minty, um, to a minty flavor, just because it also helps a ton with focus for those workouts that require a lot of mind-muscle connection, a lot of focus, etc. Highly recommend you guys chew gum during your workout. If you haven't, just give it a go, guys. I promise you it'll help. Let's go ahead and get this workout. See you guys in June. Starting to rain, guys. Whoa. Is that pretty boosty? guys day three back in the gym for another raw workout today we're doing arms buys and tries basically starting off with a little warm-up set we're going a bicep kind of supinated curl this little machine if you don't have one don't worry about it just get on an incline bench and just hit it right here you don't want to like hold at the top just constant tension and movement the whole way just a good little warm-up get the blood flowing and then we're going straight into like a tricep rope extension thing again it's a machine if you don't have one of those maybe just jump on um, a little cable pulley and uh, just single hand rope extend but that's going to be the first exercise let's get it five sets 10 to 15.
throw that? Um, yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> All right guys, so that's gonna do it for that first exercise. Quick little tip on the bicep curls. I would just keep them kind of tucked into your lats, nice and open, and just drop the ego on this one, go a little bit lighter. So literally, you kind of just squeezing or flexing your bicep is gonna do all the work, and that's gonna be the best for the overall range of motion and everything. On the tricep extensions, just drive through the elbows. It's gonna hit all that tricep, keep them close. Make sure every rep is good form. If it's not good form, don't count it, just keep going. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the first exercise. start off with a second exercise is going to be a quick little superset so not quick take your time full range of motion good form the whole time or else don't count the freaking rep first exercise is going to be a tricep extension with a v v bar i love this little attachment thing it just keeps everything nice and firm i would go a little bit um out with your hips that way you get a little bit more range of motion if you go right here you're going to kind of get stuck right there pop your little hips butt out a little bit that way you get that full extension right there and then going into just a supinated bicep curl on these. 15 on those, 10 to 15 on those, depending on how heavy you go. If you need to, drop the weight, vice versa. But we're gonna hit four sets of this, let's go. So the hardest part is gonna be the bicep curls again. Drop the ego, go light enough weight so you can get every single rep, a good rep. And don't cheat yourself if you know it's a shitty rep. If you know you could have done it better, don't count the rep and redo it. Let's go. These days I get replays, blue faces, how I decorated the news page. Remember how I used to serve the plate, clean the food tray, working eight to four from Tuesday through the weekdays, hustle evenings at the store of Highway 92 in Hayward, always running just a few days, like in a new game, back to the crib and I color in new ways, just the new blade, the budget tied me down like shoe strings, connected the loose change, those were the days that made me. She had my line like a beat, she could have sweated, I was cheap, be honest, I was better grieving, she said it like how I wanted it, knowing the chill was all that I need. That all of the pieces that fit like a glove, you sit it right in front of me. How I don't see it. Hit up the Brody to fit. Like, thought I might take it easy. Am I young or something? I'm not reaching the validated. Instead, I get told from the parking space. Why do it feel like I can have a vote full of ominous faces? The art I won't save us. I thought the ground was for the breaking. Look like it's all overrated. Yeah. Like it's all overrated. Like it's all overrated to me. Like it's all overrated to me. All right, guys. So another quick superset, just to get more exercise, more volume in, just because we might be, we are a little time crunch. So that's what we're doing. Four sets, uh, 15, just easy bar curl. Not crazy wide, but medium wide. 
straight into a tricep extension here we have one of these tricep extension machines these are awesome if you have one i would recommend just jumping on one of these just because it's going to hit the tricep a little bit different so jump on these quick tip on the curl i just like to stay tight keep my core tight and i almost like flex my lats so my arms can rest if that makes sense so by flexing my lat i'm resting and then i'm just curling and all the focus is on the bicep on this keep your core tight because i know a lot of different muscles can come into play but just keep your core tight try to have your feet nice and firmly planted and then just drive through the elbows almost think of like you're punching like punching through and that's exactly what that is hits the triceps phenomenally let's go all right guys moving on to the third superset as you guys can tell there's a little pattern here it's all supersets it's all super high volume so keep that intensity high low rest periods we're resting between 15 to 30 seconds this exercise is going to be a dumbbell hammer curl we're going to go alternating and that kind of takes forever so if you're working with a partner have them start on the next exercise which is going to be tricep extensions like the donkey kickbacks so right here boom obviously that's going to be a lighter dumbbell quick tip on the hammer curls again flex your lat keep your elbows tight and just boom boom i like to just think of like my arm flexing and that's kind of what i think of for the hammer curl on the donkey kickbacks i like to get all the way bent over because that just helps me get my arm in a 90 degree position and then just punching through again just think of like driving through with your elbow punching through boom if the weight is too heavy to get 15 reps drop it down you don't need to go very heavy on these at all to feel it so let's get it four sets 10 to 15 each exercise each arm or else we're gonna be there all day so 10 is plenty just get a weight heavy enough to do 10. get hard real quick but the contraction on those is awesome this is an awesome little combo guys give it a go again don't cheat yourself if it was a shitty rep or use momentum redo the rep i promise you it's going to make all the difference in the long run let's go extensions we're literally right here we're 90 degrees boom that's exactly what's going on over here but you're kind of like bent over boom so right here boom right here boom that's where we want our arm so we don't want our shoulder to drop and uh, we don't want our shoulder to drop so go with the weight light enough to do that obviously on the cables you don't go crazy heavy because you want that good form and that contraction 
Same rule applies here. You don't want any swinging, any momentum going, guys. Um, also, where was I going with this? Um, and yeah, quick little tip for you. How do I get this low? You come over and we start a fight. Never know who's wrong or right. See that? Nothing where you go. I know it's not intelligent, drinking for the hell of it, but that's irrelevant now. We should talk about with us. How come we're holding on? Cause really I don't see the benefits now. And you broken my trust, so I just wonder why do I fall back to you? Really nothing I can do about it. Why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me. I can't quit. It's not like we're still 22, trying something new just to pass time. I don't think that we ever could work this out. None of it makes sense, there's no reason why. Why I still fall back to you? Cool. That combo is awesome, guys. It just gets you pumped because you literally feel a contraction on every single one. Your arms just feel super fat and swollen from all the blood after, so that's a good one. Give it a go, guys. I hurt you just to feel something. Get my heart beating again. I should probably let you go. I know I can't just let you go. Make everything difficult. But it would take a miracle now to fix the problems. How come we're holding on? It's really I don't see the benefits now. And you broke my trust, so I just wonder. Alright guys, fifth and final superset, 10 exercises in total, so pretty pumped about that just because considering we were on a time crunch and we're still managing to get all this volume in. Five supersets, final exercise, final exercise is going to be cable extension. So what I was basically comparing that to, that's what we're going to hit now, but we're going to hit a double, a basically like a double tricep superset in a way. So we're going to go boom into, actually we're going to go across the body into straight down. So that mountain gets spicy, your arms get super tight, and that's what we're gonna finish with. A lot of times you get super crappy cables or super crappy pulleys and it makes it just a nightmare to do anything on. These are actually really good. The angle is a little awkward, but a whole lot better than doing it on a crappy cable machine. So, cross the body. Alright guys, so cross the body if you need to, kind of like walk out a little bit, take all the slack out to where your shoulder's kind of like almost touching the cable here. Um, that's just going to help you get just a better position and like stability. So boom, cross the body. You don't need much weight at all to feel these guys. Again, you can go across the body into straight, just push downs on the same arm. I found that, that taxes me a whole lot quicker, so I can't get the full 15 reps when I'm here. So I've just decided to go there and there and still by the end of that like last 
10 to 15 reps. It's super hard, so less weight on this is necessarily more because it's gonna be hard by the very end. I'm already feeling it's first set. By the end of like your fourth set, you're gonna be toast, so give these a go. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's arm workout, man. Feeling really, really good. Rainy day vibes today, so it's a great way to start the day. If you guys haven't already, guys, click the link below to download your free three-day ebook. It's basically like a three-day teaser of a program I'm gonna release in 2020 or 2021. So go ahead and hit that link. All you have to do is type in your name, email, and you can download the free ebook totally for you guys. Just something for you guys to try. It's a mix of bodybuilding and functional Metcon, you know, hit style workout. Maybe even throw that functional workout in for like a cardio day. But go ahead and download it, guys. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. And yeah, follow me along my day. Let's go. What do you think of that workout? I got a pump. You got a pump? So it's good? <laughs> it's good. It was a great workout. It was a mess today. Post-workout meal number one, we got 40 grams of oats, one scoop of grow for the protein oats. We're not doing Joe and grow, just protein oats. We got 50 grams of blueberries, raspberries, frozen, and then a serving of uh, fat-free whipped cream. Only like 10 calories, so I'm digging. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed my first episode of this fitness vlogmas. 
I've been thinking about what type of videos I should make. I was like, hey, I'm kind of starting this Vlogmas a little bit late, but I have still been posting at least two videos every week so far in December, so why not start Vlogmas today? So I hope you guys enjoyed this little arm workout and everything. If you guys haven't already, go get that free three-day teaser. If you guys haven't already, guys, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I appreciate you guys coming along this journey. Stay tuned for tomorrow, day two of Vlogmas, even though it's gonna be like the 18th of December, but hey, better late than never, right? Let's get it. Breakfast Club CTG, we out this B.